She literally got off the runway looking like an angel to a tramp. They did a number on her because it's <laughs> like the hair, the dress. She's not selling it for me in her posture and the way she looks. That's not a smile, that's a eh, kind of a look. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Candace Brock with Too Fab, and we're here with stylist Audrey Brienne and Anna Kachikian, and we have this week's Too Fab or Too Drab. Okay, so it was a big week for Miss Gigi Hadid, who walked in the Victoria's Secret fashion show, and she is at the after party here. She's wearing a house of CB bodysuit and a Sally LaPont skirt. Like, I love the skirt, but the bodysuit for me mm -hmm. is kind of bordering on a little cheap looking. Yep. I'm not it looks incomplete to me, I guess. She's got a great figure. I think she's beautiful, but this, it just looks unfinished because of how much is showing. She literally got off the runway looking like an angel to a tramp. Like, I, <laughs> it do doesn't work. <laughs> if she can't even pull this off, then this is just, nobody should be wearing this. So too drab. Okay, so now we have Kendall Jenner who also walked in the show and she's at the after party here wearing Versace. And she's just glowing. She has that angel glow. Mm -hmm. And I love this dress, it's sheer, it's sexy, and that hairstyle, the half bun, half up bun thing is super hot right now. And I'm gonna give her two fab. I think this is how a Victoria's Secret model should look. And this just fits her beautifully. It's two fab, the gold, the may. I just think it, it couldn't have been a better choice for her having this like fun moment. I really like this too, and a lot of people did think that she didn't fit in, you know, because she's so high fashion. I think she looked amazing, especially when she smiled, like that beautiful, gorgeous, <laughs> happy, like smile. Like, it was beautiful. There is no cleavage here. Mm -hmm. And as a flat-chested girl, I love this. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Too fab. Okay, so supporting Kendall, Laura, her parents, Kris Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner. Chris is wearing Balmain, of course, and Caitlyn is wearing Stella McCartney. First off, I think Chris looks amazing. Yeah, I love her does. dress. Mm -hmm. The bare leg, I'm kind of a little eh on the fence with, yeah. but I'm sorry, Caitlyn. They did a number on her because it's <laughs> like the hair, the dress, this is not age appropriate. She's yeah. 66 and side boob, I'm sorry now. I think Caitlyn is too drab because I just don't like this, this silhouette, to be honest. I don't think that it was the most flattering yeah. to her figure. I think from the neck up, she looks really nice. I love her hair. And then with Chris, I think it's such a great little party dress. I yeah. really like the print and I think she went for something that really is age appropriate for her and having fun. So she gets a too fab. I agree with you guys. Chris Jenner looks amazing. For <laughs> her age, she looks too fab. Caitlyn Jenner, on the other hand, I don't think it's appropriate for your dad to show up to your first show and with side boob <laughs> showing. <I> just, <laughs> they still call her dad. They, so they you go up they to do. her and you say, Daddy, I love your side boob. No. No, no. I'm gonna give them a two fab. They mended their relationship. Yeah. Chris looks hot, but Caitlyn, I'm, no. I'm sorry, Caitlyn. Okay, so now we have Selena Gomez. She's at Glamour's Women in Hollywood Awards wearing Valentino. And this whole entire week, I just have fallen in love with her. Everything that she's worn in this was my favorite. It's just, it's ladylike, but with that patent leather, it brings that kind of sexy little edge. And I, she's just having a moment for me. And she might be my best dress of the week. So two fab for Selena, major two fab. She's adorable. There's nothing wrong with this. The fit's right, the hair is right, the makeup is right. I feel like her team just got this so, so right. Um, it's two fab all day, every day. I agree, she's killing it, two fab. So she's been killing it all week at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. She had a Louis Vuitton dress that was beautiful, and then she had a Moogler mini dress that was so, so hot. Higher. And she, she had so blue good. contacts. Mm -hmm. She looked like a How mini Adriana she Lima. Look like? yeah. She looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we have Little Miss Reese Witherspoon. She's at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards. She's wearing her gem. And at first I thought this was her line, Draper James, and I hated it, but it might be a lot of lace, a lot of embroidery, but there's something sweet about it that I kind of like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I like this. I can't explain it's why. It's a sweet it's, dress, it's but sweet. it's eating her. But it's, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's like she's a Southern Belle, lacy, so cute for her. She's too I'm gonna give her it. a two fab. I like it. I think <laughs> I that it, it fits her nicely, like the that little short flouncy cut, but mm -hmm. I feel like we've seen Reese do this so often that it just feels 
cliche. That's not a bad thing, but I almost feel like it's so formulaic now with her that this is like a uniform for Reese. So I'm gonna give it a two drab just for not changing it up. I don't like it, two drab. I think it's too, it's too much, it's too heavy. But that's not the dress and it's not her. I think it's the two of them together because she's so petite. She's very bleh. But it's a beautiful dress. Like it would look really pretty on you. Thanks. You know, now we have Jennifer Lawrence and she's at the Hunger Games premiere in Paris. She's wearing Christian Dior, of course. And I personally don't think she even wants to be here, wants to be at this event. And do you know how I know that? Because she rolled out of bed and she wore a nightgown to this red carpet. No. But she does get points for her hair. Her hair was in braids, it was beautiful, it had Super jewels in it. Cute. But this is literally like what I wore to bed when I was 12, too drab. She's not selling it for me in her posture and the way she looks. That's not a smile, that's a eh, kind of a look. So <laughs> she's another girl where it's written on her face that like something's not right. I think it's too drab. She's wearing a long dress and you know when she wears a long dress she falls. But I think she looks like an angel. Of <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Audrey. Thank you. And that was this week's edition of Two Fab or Two Drab, and let us know what you think of our picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.